Hello, my Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing? I hope you're all doing well. We are in August readings at this point, Virgo. So thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I've been on YouTube for the last two months. Please subscribe, comment, like, sh share, follow me on social media if my messages resonate. If they don't, well, you can check out your other signs, your Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you don't know what that is, you can check out the link down below where you can find out what those signs are through your birth information. So check out your birth chart with a link below. Check out all my information about the cards that I'm using. I'm about to use the Romance Angels and we'll be looking at some astrology here, the Black Moon astrology cards that I just purchased and I'm getting familiar with. And then we're going to take a look at the energy of what's coming through for you in love. So take these messages as they resonate, as they are not for everybody, they're general. Uh, they can be also reversed. The uh, roles can be reversed. This can happen uh, when you're dealing with someone else. If you're a cross watcher, this can also apply to you if you're dealing with a Virgo. Rising, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, obviously, or who has a lot of Virgo in their chart. All right. Okay, wow. So based on the cards that I pulled out for the month of August Virgo. So the overview here as what I'm getting is that the person you're dealing with or that you've dealt with before in the past or currently, uh, this was unrequited love. So basically what this says is um, you're not feeling each other the way in the same way. This person is not feeling you the way you're feeling them okay someone has more feelings for each other one has more feelings for the other and as a result this is not uh this is unrequited love this is not uh an, e an equal um amount of love an equal give and take here there's not enough attraction there's not enough feelings there's not a enough chemistry to keep this relationship going you guys are not on the same page when it comes to your feelings someone has more feelings than the other but here they're saying in the month of august you need to keep an open mind so maybe the person that comes into your life may differ from your usual type and expectations and a lot of the signs are getting this card okay myself as well so i feel like we need to clear the way clear the path and stop thinking that the person we're going to attract or manifest will be like our ex, will be like our past relationships. We need to keep an open mind that the person that we are about to attract is completely different, Co will be completely different from what we're used to. And so maybe this will create a little bit of resistance at first. So they're asking you to keep an open mind, okay? So it's time to change our patterns. It's time to change our expectations, our standards. It's all about self-love. If we've been taking the time to understand, you know, what our patterns are, what our toxic behaviors are, then we're able to attract someone who is also going through that understanding and that processing and that inner awareness and reflection. And this is what they're telling you. Transform. Scorpio is all about transformation this month. So... What is it within yourself, within your past relationships that you need to change? Things need to change. There are habits, routines, things from the past that need to change, that need to completely die. Uh, Scorpio is ruled by the death card and the tarot. So what is it that you need to change? What is it that you need to transform when it comes to your relationships? And I'm feeling maybe it's, your, it's the type that you usually go after. You know, and it's looking at those patterns, those set of sets of expectations and standards that we've placed on other people. And that is going to change. That's going to transform because the ones that you usually go after end up being unrequited. Very good, Virgo. So let's take a look at your astrology. Oh, no, I did. I took out the astrology. Sorry. My Virgo, my rising is in Virgo for the ones who don't know me. My sun is in Pisces, and my sun is in Aries. My moon is in Pisces. Man, this Mercury retrograde has really gotten me fucked up. Like my communication, my thinking, everything is just so foggy. And I wake up with headaches. I currently have a headache. 
It's just been, it's just been freaking crazy. I just hope that in the next few weeks, this Mercury retrograde will subside, even though it goes uh, direct on August, on August, July 31st, this week, it doesn't mean that the energy is still there. It has to get out of its shadow. So look, overview, Ace of Cups. This is an outpouring of love from the universe, from someone. But I feel like for you, Virgo, this is healing with the strength card. Someone's helping you heal or you're healing yourself. You're finding the strength to overcome what has been difficult. Ooh, we got two of cups. Wow, coming into union with someone. You see, that's an equal give and take, an outpouring of love that is equal. You guys are on the same page. You both feel each other the same way. It's a mutual understanding. Yeah, okay, so the overall energy for the month of August for you, Virgo, is the Ace of Cups with the world. So when it comes to love, you're stepping into a whole new cycle, a whole new world, a whole new chapter with someone new. This is very new for me. Very new. But I think you need to wait it out, okay? So it's going to take some time because the Two of Swords here, she sits uh, with her um, swords crossed, her arms crossed, blindfolded. You know, it's not being revealed to you just yet. And the, the universe is probably asking you to just sit still for a little while and contemplate what it is that you need. Yeah, contemplate based on all the efforts that you put in. You planted your seeds. You've, you're working on yourself. You're putting in all the, the energy and work to manifest the love that you desire. And you're just patiently waiting at this point for this new door to open. And we got Scorpio transformation. So maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio or perhaps you're just going through some, you know, some serious changes, some serious endings. Things need to end. Things need to change. Things need to transform in order for the new to come in. Let's take a look at the person that's coming in for you, their energy, Virgo. So the person coming in for the month of August, who is this person? What is their energy? Tell me now. Okay. So the Three of Pentacles speaks of work, collaboration. Someone might have been, I feel like they might have been left out here. Someone might have been rejected with that Five of Pentacles. We got a lot of Pentacles here. So dealing with a an Earth sign, another Virgo or Capricorn or Taurus. But this person is currently living a situation where they are going through some loss they've experienced some loss they're coming in with that energy that they've been through loss and abandonment by working with others trying to cooperate with others here with that three of pentacles there's been some loss when it comes to coming together with other people what is virgo's energy coming in for the month of august please what is Virgo's energy coming in for the month of August, please? Wow. Two of cups. Okay, Virgo. So you are at a point where you want clarity. You want communication. There, this can co come in a form of communication with the Ace of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But, I mean, this is your energy. You are willing to put in the effort if the other person is willing to offer their same cup of love, same, same cup of emotion here. So you're wanting clarity for the month of August. You want communication. Or this is you communicating this to someone, being clear about how you feel, about what you want with them, how you want to manifest. this person feel how does this person feel about ooh, the moon okay how does this person feel about virgo so the person you'll be dealing with here is the moon and the four of swords this is telling me that this person is going through um a period of, of restoration a period of retreat of rest Due to the effects of the, the last moon here, we had that last uh, full moon in Capricorn. It was an eclipse, lunar eclipse. Was it a solar or lunar? I can't remember. Uh, but definitely feeling the effects of the, the moon here and probably not exactly revealing their feelings when it comes to this relationship. 
someone's surrendering and waiting and taking their time with this because they're not exactly revealing. Things are kind of hidden with the moon. So the feeling, their feelings are not exactly clear, whereas you are very clear about what you want. What is the challenge about the connection? What is the challenge with this connection? So the star in the challenge position can mean that someone lacks hope here. Someone is lacking faith, lacking faith not wanting the challenges investing putting in the work having faith and hope healing this is what's challenging this connection someone here doesn't have enough hope that will push them to invest not feeling those what action steps will this person be taking in the month of august with virgo what action steps will they be taking with my virgo Okay, they're going to come through. King of Wands. Okay, Knight of, Knight of Cups. Okay, so I think in the future, I think they're going to be able to take a, take a leap of faith with you. So uh, find the courage to uh, come through here uh, and see things from a different perspective. So it could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. could be a water sign, pa Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. With the hangman, it's telling me with, with these two cards combined with this says that this person is going to try to find the courage. You know, king of wands is someone who's all about making moves, being courageous, um, about approaching you when it comes to the relationship, when it comes to expressing. I mean, this is a knight. This is, it can be a little bit... Um, not as mature as the king or the emperor, but this is a, a start to towards opening up, taking that leap, taking that uh, uh, courageous leap of faith here by seeing things from a different perspective when it comes to your connection. But it's going to take this person some time because at this point they're like this. The way they feel is that they need to surrender. They need some time to think and reflect about... The hermit, the hermit is you, Virgo. So seeing things from a different perspective, but also approaching you, you know, uh, taking that step towards opening up slowly. What is the most likely outcome when it comes to this person and this energy with Virgo? Oh, wow. We got the four of wands, guys. So this is a new home. This is celebrations. This is engagement. This is... I had another word, but it, it, it it's, it's now gone. So engagements, foundations, new home, moving in together, making a decision about whether you want to be committed. Yeah, okay, great. So this is movement. This is moving. For some of you, this is moving. Traveling, gaining stability, commitment, communication, forward movement. This is this is beautiful. So I think it's just going to take a little bit of time with my Virgos to open up the person here. The person here definitely has feelings for you, but I feel like it's taking them a little bit of time. What advice cards do you have for Virgo regarding this connection? Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups is like an apology. It's like um, offering your cup of love, showing how you feel. You know, it's not uh, f the full-blown, uh, you know, showing our love. But at the same time, it's, it's a step. So being open with our emotions is what I'm feeling with this card. Being open with our emotions, yeah. And then you got the Nine of Cups about what you want, about what you desire. Opening up about what you wish for. So this is a wish coming true, but you're opening up about it. You're letting them know. You're expressing You're expressing to them what it is that you need to feel satisfied. What you need to feel successful in the relationship. 
Wow, this is like one of the most beautiful <laughs> spreads I've done today. So as you see here, having the strength, the courage to overcome uh, the instability, you know, the instability that might come, uh, that ha have already um, made their way, made its way to you. So these are, you know, the, the tower is destruction, it's wake up calls, it's realizations, it's complete crashing and burning, but it's having the strength to go through that, overcoming that for the month of August. This can also be a Leo, a Leo coming in and making you realize or make, making them realize uh, what is best. Because I do see some stability here, some communication about wanting to build a relationship. But you need to be open. You need to be open because it might not be with someone who you're usually attracted to. Okay, Some of you are dealing with people who are not exactly on the same page when it comes to your feelings. So for you, it's very important that people express their emotions. That people open up. That people have faith in what you believe in. And you're just here waiting for the universe to deliver the love to you because something new is on its way. With the world card, something is closing off. And you're waiting. You're waiting for something new to come in when it comes to love. All right. Let's take a look at some angel answer cards. What advice do you have for my Virgo? Yeah, so some of you still need to let go maybe of past circumstances. Having the strength to let go of, you know, these sudden shakeups and wake-ups that cause some destruction in your life that caused some transformation and changes and endings. Some of you still need to let go of that. Surrender. Wait. So some of you still need, again, to let go. Wait. Surrender when it comes to the, the outcome of this situation. Okay? So you're expecting things to go a certain way. You're expecting results. You're expecting someone to offer you something. But they're saying, let go. Wait. Okay? What you are asking for needs to play itself out in behind the scenes yes and they're reminding you to listen to your intuition if it's saying wait let go be patient then let go be patient what else okay so some of you will need to take some some action or somebody will take action when it comes to you so wait i think they're saying let go wait until someone takes action. Yes, we're going to end with that. Remain positive and peaceful resolution at the bottom of the deck. Remain positive. So listen to your guides. Listen to how you're feeling. In, at the moment, you are asked to let go of the circumstances. You're asked to let go and wait for things to pick up. Because things will pick up here. From what I see, there action will be taken. Actions, communication will be taken. You just need to have the strength here to overcome what it is that makes you feel insecure. Maybe past unrequited love. You need to be open to what other opportunities will be offered to you in, in the future. Because you're going through some major transformation. So as you transform... You know, your usual type will also change. I will end with the Lovers Oracle cards. All my links of these current decks will be in the description box. If you want to go ahead and check those out. Oh, you got the Twin Flame card, Virgo. So definitely, you're definitely connecting with someone in the ether. So someone who is a reflection of who you are. So that's a ah, reflection. <laughs> Wow. Okay. So I'm showing it to you and I'm freaking out. Okay. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Trust, have faith that all will work out for the best. So what I was trying to say is that the twin flame uh, is a person, is a soul that we connect with, but is also a reflection of who we are. So this is why it's important to transform. It's important to get yourself on a more balanced uh, 
path so that it opens up an opportunity with someone who is your reflection, someone who is like you, who has the same has the same concerns, who has the same ways of thinking, who's self-aware, who is willing to work on a relationship and who's willing to listen to you and who's willing to meet you halfway. So this is what they're saying to wait for your twin flame. I mean, I don't like the labels, but at the same time, I'm trying to just explain to you that whatever you are inside is what, you, is what you're reflecting on the outside. So that's the power of manifestation. That's the power of the law of cause and effect of the law of attraction. So by keeping an open mind, by you realigning with who you need to be in the moment, you kind of let go of the, these types of people who are not willing to give you what you're able to give them. So Virgo, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope these messages resonated. If they didn't, check out some other videos that I have there on YouTube. And uh, you can also look at your moon, rising, and Venus. So have a great day, night, evening, wherever you are in the world. And I'll catch you on the next one.